Okay, last week, 45 degrees, went to the Beograd Boat Show. Uh, we checked out a Morde 55 2015 model called More Fun, the 55 foot. So here is our walkthrough and review of that model from the Beograd Boat Show. All right, we're on board with the Morde 55 2015 15. 2015 model. Uh, we've just been informed all the 2017 models are sailing, sailing to the Caribbean at the moment. And um, we're going to have a look through the boat. This is the five cabin version with the bunks. We're after the four cabin version with the skipper's cabin. Um, hopefully, also three cabin. talk about it. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> don't want a three cabin. So uh, let's have a look at this boat that I'm really, really enjoying. Thing about this design is these guys have been racing boats they want to race boats so you have the two setups for the main sheet and the first setup for okay call it cruising is this here if you use these two blocks here of course it sheets down from this portion of the bay the boom and so you can then have your bimini and dodger and everything extended in cruising sailing now what it's currently configured for is for i'd call it the racing more serious sailing is it's sheeted right back here to this boom and it goes down into a flush mounted traveler that you can then adjust of course for better sailing conditions so have a look at this Really, really cool feature that I'd be keen, certainly as a chartering and uh, doing holidays, but also wanting to do some serious sailing and racing. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> That's do you have fire extinguisher in here? Yes. Yes? Automatic oh. one is standing about. Maybe it's removed now for a for test or for, for a Okay. It's standing on the on the roof. That's this automatic system with the okay. with the heat. It bl it blows. Yeah. yeah. And is there a hole for a for an extinguisher as well? No, we have a hand uh, extinguisher. Hand extinguisher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there's no no small hole no, to no, pop no, that through. No, no, okay. no. Because this automatic system, it just breaks and yeah. and, and close immediately the fire. Okay. So it. And that's the generator in the yeah, back. Yeah, it's generator. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is something I'm amazed about. This, I'm at full arm's length inside my cabin, standing up. I'm six foot two, and this is amazing. Look at me turning around. Look, I can turn around in a cabin, in an aft cabin. This is quite amazing for me, and it's one of the things I want for our guests is this space to move around. If you're not used to a boat, you need this sort of space. So I really like this. This is the aft port. But what you can do, that's a standard, you can remove this bulkhead in five minutes. Oh really? There is a lock, you open this one, you fold it out and then you slide everything out. Okay. And you get a huge master cabin Okay. So in five even, minutes. So this model, you can do a master cabin? In every, yeah. Oh, I that's like that. I like that. And, is, and there's two doors? Yeah, that's ah, two doors. Ah, very good. It was hard to tell on the floor plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's very cool. We've got a complete master cabin that we can remove the whole thing and create a, a big cabin up front in any of the models. And it's quite nice, this um, bathroom, these heads have a separate toilet and a separate shower, which is kind of what I'm standing in right now. Um, and you can, there's two doors to that. So it makes it easy to close off and enter the bathroom from either side. And of course there's the galley, which Candice is in love with. <laughs> How are you for fridges? Eat our fridge or fridge Is this vegetables or freezer? No, no this is a classic fridge. Classic fridge. Okay. Freezer you can make of, of big ones. Ah. 
gonna okay and also you can install a support here during sailing yeah yeah that you can support yourself to, for, for cooking or handle okay. to walk all right having a really good chat there was some talk about um one of these boats on the way to the caribbean they said it lost its rudder but i found out the full story about that i'll fill you in later um and they say this has got a quite a big skipper's cabin oh yeah all oh, right bed. oh it's a dump yeah. so one bed is folding Ah, oh, so you can do bunks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right all right let's get a feel for what this is really like Whoa, all right the reality is i do not put skippers in skippers cabins with our company but we may put a volunteer crew in here if they're keen especially if it's something this like this this is nice it's big if it seals i hate people having to deal with electric but this is nice you can do bunks i wouldn't want to but you could do bunks it's got a pull out shower power usb and an electric flush toilet down in here smells like a skipper's cabin which is fine bathroom and of course the anchor controls are in here as well what i'd probably do with our trips is we strip all this out and we use it as storage but um good to know track to launch off something to slide on or do you just you just lift out okay okay can I drop this oh Being that our walkthrough was conducted at the boat show, we did not get to sail the vessel this day. So we are very much hoping to sail it again, uh, to sail it soon. Um, we have one charted for next season, so we will be able to do a full review, sailing and living aboard review next season on the boat when we check it all out. So overall, I think the Moto 55 has a really, really nice layout. The layout is one of the things that has attracted us to the boat completely. Four cabins in the main area, four heads, an ensuite for each of those. Of course, this model is the five cabin model, so it's got five cabins in the main area plus the skipper's cabin. But as it is for two, four, six adults, the double cabins and then two smaller uh, children or younger uh, young adults whatever in the bunk cabin that works really really well uh, and of course you've got the skipper's cabin in the bow if you've got someone uh, that you want to tuck away in there as far as our experience go with Mordo boats we didn't really enjoy the experience of meeting them at the boat show there was not a lot of forthcoming information I've tried to contact them on the website at least four times and I've heard nothing back so confronted them about that at the boat show and then of course gave them my information told them I wanted to hear from them and I've heard nothing it's been a week week and a half since we've been at the boat show and I still haven't heard nothing hopefully they will redeem themselves on that and we can have a conversation with them about what's available what we can get in the future but at the moment that's where we stand I hope you enjoyed the review we can't wait to do more of these get more up on the channel so there's plenty more of information for you to look at if you like the video give it a good thumbs up give it a like on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all later